Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com. I haven't had my coffee yet. It's really early in the morning. It's, the sun has just come up. I've got dogs milling around the house because they think I'm supposed to be taking them for their early walk. And I'm just going to let them wait for a minute so that I can get a really quick video out. I just want to let you know kind of the state of my, my experiment in selling art online. And this is probably going to be the last video I do on it, actually, because... It has not worked out at all, um, and I made some fatal mistakes right at the very beginning. And I should have known better, but I was making some assumptions that I shouldn't have made. I went ahead and developed a whole line of art prints based on those assumptions. I should have actually paid attention to what I knew at the beginning and and I would have known before I ever started that it probably wasn't going to work. And I'm, I'm going to let you know exactly what I did so that hopefully you won't make the same mistakes. Because I don't have very much money. I'm, I'm living on a social security check. I don't have, you know, a corporation behind me or anything like that. So I can't buy Google ads or, well, any ads at all in order to get traffic to a website. I just can't do that. So... If I'm going to have any kind of business online, I need to get free traffic. I thought it would be fairly easy to get free traffic from Pinterest and Instagram, mostly based on the fact that I get so much free traffic from Pinterest to my ultimatepapermache.com website. What I did wrong, and this is this is really important, I, I actually bought a course on um, on marketing on Pinterest. Jesse has an a actual textbook on uh, how to market with Instagram. I've, um, I've read a lot of books on the subject. I've watched a lot of videos and every single person says that Pinterest and Instagram work really well for getting free traffic to a lifestyle blog. Now when I started this, I didn't even know what a lifestyle blog is. I still don't really know. Uh, the people who are selling the courses, they have websites about how easy it is to get free traffic on Pinterest. And they put all these blog posts together that are really informative. They tell you so much. You're getting information on those particular uh, blog pages that you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else because they're really good writers. And then they put a pin, a, a, an image, out on Pinterest letting people know that they have a blog post about how easy it is to get free traffic on Pinterest. And people will come to them. People will sign up for their newsletter, and then eventually um, they just keep talking about it to you. They'll offer more f free things, uh, videos and uh, uh, webinars and whatnot, and eventually, like I did, you'll actually buy one of their expensive $500 courses on how to do it. But they're always telling you, from the very beginning, they're telling you that it works for blogs. There's nobody that I can find who tells you how to sell a physical product and how to get directly from Pinterest or Instagram or even a Facebook ad directly to a sales page that sells a physical product. There's nobody telling you how to do that. Now I assumed that they weren't telling you how to do that because there's so much more money in selling a $500 information product than there is in selling a, a physical product where you can mark it up like 50%. Um, like my my posters that I'm selling now are, I get, I'm, I'm pricing them at $28.99, I think it is. Um, I get a very small portion of that because there's free shipping involved in that too. I have to pay the printer. The, the, the profit margin is really low. The profit margin on selling a uh, info product for 500 bucks is really huge. So that's why I thought that they were concentrating only on that kind of business, just because they were making their money doing that. Well, it turns out they were right. I'm getting absolutely no traffic at all from my Pinterest account. None. Zero. People, I don't even know if people are seeing any of the pins that I put up on Pinterest or not. I'm getting absolutely no repins at all and I'm getting no traffic. I think I got one person last month 
one in a whole entire month from Pinterest to my website. That's obviously not working, especially since I not only did I buy the course, but I also bought um, a subscription to a, uh, a software service that would help me schedule all those pins that you have to do in order to make it work according to the instructions that are given by absolutely everybody. You have to have this software too. It's called Tailwind and it does work really good. It, it does simplify everything a lot, but it doesn't get you any traffic unless you have a blog. And I don't have a blog. Jesse is running into exactly the same thing on in Instagram. We teamed up. I did her uh, Pinterest account, which has done her absolutely no good whatsoever. Her Instagram actually is working a lot better in that a lot more people are actually seeing it. She can get up to f like 550 likes within the first hour when she puts a, an image up on her Instagram account or on mine. She's got me like thousands of followers. None of those people actually go to our um, Instagram profile and click on the link to our websites. I think I got three people last week from Instagram, period. I mean, that's all. You can't run a business on three people a week. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Now, because I assumed that I would be able to get traffic to sales pages, from these free sites, so-called free sites, it's really not free, but when you do it the way I did it, but <laughs> that was my assumption that I would be able to get those, uh, that traffic affordably to my sales pages on Pinterest or Instagram, and that's not working. And that's a really big deal because I can't get any free traffic on Google. Almost all of the traffic that comes to um, ultimatepapermache.com comes either because people see my videos on YouTube or most of them actually find me by typing in some paper mache term on the Google search engine. And I'm always on the first page. It wasn't all that hard because there aren't any big corporations competing for paper mache uh, terms because there's no money in it. There's, it's a very small niche and the people who are interested in paper mache, like me, don't n usually buy anything. Um, people do occasionally buy one of my books or one of my patterns, but that's like one person out of maybe 20,000 or 30,000 people. Um, there's, there's really, it, it's my ultimate paper mache.com blog is a hobby for me and I knew that going in and part of the way that you can tell <laughs> that it's going to be a hobby and you're not really going to be making money at it is to look on that first page of Google when you type in the search um, terms and you see if anybody else is actually competing for it. If people who actually sell things are competing for that page and, and are actually advertising for those terms, then you can see that people do actually sell things for that keyword. Well, evidently, animal prints do sell. That was one of the reasons that I was so excited about starting it, because I went out to Google and I saw that really big companies are spending a lot of money on advertising on Google. Uh, they're also completely dominating the first page of the search results for any keyword that I would put uh, for my animal prints. I, I mean, big companies think there's money in it. So I was thinking, cool, if I can get traffic to my website, I can make money too. But without any free traffic, I can't do it and I can't compete with those people on Google because I don't, I don't have their kind of money for those kind of ads. And Google really likes those huge corporations because they're authority sites and, and they're never going to give me free traffic for my little website. I'm, I don't even have any links to my website from anybody. It just isn't gonna happen. So that was my fatal mistake, was first of all for, well, I guess the whole entire mistake that I made was assuming that I could get free traffic from the social media sites directly to a sales page selling a physical product. Nobody told me that that was possible, and I decided I was going to prove all those people wrong, but they're not wrong, and, and it just isn't going to work. I don't want to write a blog for my print business, I would, I would be able to write all day long about the individual animals that I'm making prints of. I, I probably would be able to get on the first page for just the, the name of the animal, like American Black Bear or something. I probably could do that. 
but the people coming to that page would be the same people that would go out and look at Wikipedia's page. They wouldn't be people looking for art prints. The only way that it would work is if I could actually write a blog that would be interesting to people who buy art. And I don't know what those people are interested in other than the art itself. I just I come up with an absolute blank. I don't know what to say about art prints that you could say, you know, every week so that you can actually have a blog and, and keep people coming back over and over again and build that relationship that everybody says you need. I don't I just don't know how to do that. Now I do want to tell you about something that just showed up two days ago in my inbox that may be something that you would like to consider. And that is that Etsy has now teamed up with Printful. That's the printing company that I was using for my G Clay prints. And if it's now officially okay to have your prints done by an outside source, I always thought you had to do them yourself or just sell the PDF and let somebody print their own. I, I didn't realize that it was going to be okay on Etsy to have somebody else do the printing for you. But if that is now okay and you can actually team up with Printful to do that for you, Etsy does have a search engine. It's a much smaller search engine than Google and there aren't any big corporate uh, entities vying for the for the search results on Etsy because that supposedly is not allowed. It's just all other artists. Most artists on Etsy don't actually get any traffic at all to their Etsy page because they don't know how to do the search engine optimization. They don't know how to do the keywords. They don't, you know, they just don't know how to do it. But so you don't, you would be competing basically with a small portion of the artists who are on Etsy. Uh, with with your product and there is a possibility that if you did it right you would be able to get on the first page of the search results when people type in your keyword on Etsy. Um, I, I might actually try doing that later. Right now I've, I've taken at least four or five months off from my real job as an author in order to find out if it would be possible to, for me to sell art online. I've discovered that I can't do it the way I tried doing it. I know that it is possible. I know that some people do make a lot of money selling animal prints. If they weren't, all those big companies like art.com would not be advertising for it. But I haven't figured out a way to do it myself unless the Etsy thing would work. Um, and so I need to go back to work doing the things that I actually know how to sell, which are books on Amazon.com. And I'm going to use all the information that I learned in this last four months. I, I learn really good by mistakes. Making mistakes is the way I that really gets into my brain. Okay, that, that's not going to be okay. What will work? Can I start looking around for, for how to fix it? Um, that, it's been a, an amazing learning experience and I'm really happy that I actually did it. Aside from just the how to sell or how not to sell online, it's been like I got to learn how to do the digital paintings, which I am having so much fun doing that. I'll probably continue to do them. And I'll look around for something, someplace locally that I can sell them. The other thing that I learned how to do, which I'm really excited about right now, is how to design a WordPress website. I had to do that because I moved everything off of Shopify. What I learned when I started designing my WordPress website is a new way to do it that uh, allows me to make the design any way I want to. It's not completely dependent on getting one of the themes that are already made. I get to do it myself and I'm having so much fun doing that. Uh, there's a, a few things where you know if you click on them they're not going to work because I haven't finished it yet, but maybe someday I'll even go into the business of designing websites for other people just because I had so much fun with it. So I've learned a lot. The art business itself is dead in the water. I have had no success with it at all. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have decided that I've been on vacation long enough. <laughs> I really like going to school and that's what I figure I have done and, and I'm really happy with what I've learned because it's going to be really useful going forward, not with an art business, but for my business as an author. I'm not going to be writing any more sculpture or paper mache books because I've written those already and if you want to know anything about <laughs> using paper mache or paper mache clay, I've already got a book on that and you can go buy one of those. I don't want to compete with my own books. So I'm going to be um, using 
the research skills that I now have, that I learned during this process, and I'm going to find new things that I can write about. I'm getting really excited about I have a list of about 25 things already, and a couple of them, actually, I might be asking you guys to help me with them. Um, not, not quite yet. Um, I'm not quite sure that I'm going to be doing those, but uh, you you might be getting a, a, a help <laughs> message from me saying I, I really need some uh, feedback from you guys. And I, I think that those, they're not about sculpture specifically, but they're, um, I think they would be really interesting to write. And I think you might actually have fun helping me with it too. But that's going to come down the road, maybe. I'm not going to I'm not going to talk to you about it right now because that's that's something that might happen someday. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take my dogs for a walk. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee um, because I haven't had my coffee yet, and I'm going to go back to work. Like I said, I'm going to start today. I'm going to sit down at my computer and start writing a book. If you have any input at all about the art business, if you think that um, you know how to get some free traffic. Uh, without writing a blog, and then please let me know. But in the meantime, I also hope that you'll look at my other videos if you want to know about paper mache, or come out to ultimatepapermache.com if you haven't been there recently. Even though I've been on vacation from sculpting, a whole bunch of other people have been working really hard, and we've got some fantastic guest posts out there. So go to ultimatepapermache.com, click on the blog button at the very top, and you're going to see some really cool projects that you can do. <laughs> go ahead and come on out and take a look. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.